This is about a wind power system that we're putting up um, here in Colorado. You can see this area burned pretty badly a few years ago. There's not many trees left around here. Today we're laying out the tower and I thought I'd just make a video about the tower, um, where we're at with it. This tower is made of 8 inch diameter, 12 inch tubing. And this is the top. We just kind of hauled it up here today with Dylan's van. He's cleared all the trees out. Um, this is the tower top. The wind turbine will go here. There's three 20 foot sections and a 10 foot section. So This is how we'll attach the, the top anchors. The top high wires will have a bolt through here and with the cables coming through. And here's a tower coupler. And see how we make the tower coupler? Just split a piece of eight inch tubing and it springs open and then we've welded bar stock here with some gussets to strengthen it and a whole bunch of bolts. I like this kind of coupler because it makes the coupler the strongest part of the tower. Um, some towers, the, the coupler is actually the weakest part. So the next station of guy wires. We'll have two stations of guy wires on this tower. It's about 73 feet tall. This is the end of the gym pole. Um, one end will have cables attached for the tower, and one end will have cables attached for the um, for pulley, and then um, that will hook to the winch to pull it up. We've got them laid out side by side. There's another coupler. This is where the, the westbound anchor will be. We're gonna try to dig this. If we uh, hit rock right away, we'll have to drill into the rock. It's pretty rocky up here in the Rocky Mountains. The gym pole is 40 feet long, so that's a coupler for the gym pole. Here's the first coupler for the tower, and then the bottom of the tower is only 10 feet. We could make this a little bit longer. Um, and this is the tower base. We've poured a pad for it, and it's bolted down. So, with the tower base, the tower is going to be here on a pivot, and the gym pole will be here. And the, gym, the tower is going to tip down this way. The gym pole, when we build it, is going to lay out this way with the tower, and we'll raise it up, probably with some piece of equipment, and then we'll pull the gym pole around back there, and that's where the winch will be. So I'm using inch and a half pipe through here for the tower pivots, and the end of the tower and the and the gym pole have two inch pipe to accommodate that. The anchors are 40 feet out, and the only place we could get into here are rocks. We've got an anchor in this rock over here. We drilled in 10 inches with a three-quarter three -quarter inch bit into the granite, and um, each anchor has two holes, and we'll run, we'll bolt, bolt something in two places to the rock, so I think that will be strong enough. Hope so. The other anchors at this rock which really goes quite deep, and uh, it's it's a much bigger rock than it looks like the anchors, actually. Um, we had to dig down in the dirt a little bit to get into some solid rock. And the other anchor is at the base of this rock. And the line is going to run down here. You can see where the, the house is and the solar power system. There's batteries in this shed. We'll run the line, it's about 500 feet, on two gauge aluminum wire. Um, they have yet to transfer that. The turbine itself is going to be 14 foot diameter. So it should be a fun project. It's uh, beautiful up here and kind of a nice day to work on it. And that's all for this. Hi Dylan. What do you think? This vehicle.
Coolest fucking tower ever. Coolest tower ever.